In the last video, we looked at box plots. Now we are going to look at quartiles and percentiles. Quartiles divide an ordered set from smallest to largest of data into quarters. So consider the following ordered set of 17 data values. The value that divides the set in halves is called the second quartile or Q2. The second quartile is equal in this case to 7.5. The second quartile is also called the median, and the 50th percentile, so this right here is Q2. The lower half of the data, 2, 2, 3, 3.5, 4, 4, 4, and 6, those values we're going to divide into halves and we are going to find the first quartile that's between the two middle values, three and a half and four. So to find the middle value, you have to take an average of those two and you get 3.75. So that's your Q1. Okay, we do the same thing then for the upper half of the data. So that's our Q2. So our upper half, 8, 8, 10, 10, 11 and a half, 12, 12, 12. So right here is our Q3. And it's going to be, if you add those up and divide them, Ten point seven five. So notice that three point seven five and ten point seven five are not part of the data. That's okay. The data that is less than Q one is twenty five percent of the data. The data that is more than Q1 but less than Q2 is 25% of the data. We would say that 25% of the data falls between Q1 and Q2. And then you continue that with the others. Between Q2 and Q3 is 25. And then above Q3 is also 25% of the data. Now let's take a look at percentiles. Percentiles divide an ordered set, smallest to largest, of data into hundredths. Consider the ordered set of the 100 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, all the way up to 99 and 100. 10% 10 of 100 numbers is 10 numbers. The 10 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, fall below the 10th percentile. This means that the 10th percentile is between 10 and 11. The 10th percentile is equal to 10.5. Similarly, the 90th percentile is equal to 90.5. An easy way to find percentiles is to look at a frequency table that has a cumulative relative frequency, like the one here. The following table has, as data, the number of movies 20 students watched at home during a recent one-week holiday. 50% of the data include the two zeros, the four ones, and four of the twos, 10 values, since 50% of 20 is 10. The 50th percentile is between the 10th and 11th values and is equal to two. If you look at the cumulative relative frequency column, you can see that all of the zeros and ones are 30% of the data. You can see right here, 30% of the data. All of the zeros, ones, and twos are 70% of the data. You can see that the 50th percentile has to fall within the twos. Notice that the 50th percentile is the same as Q2 and the median. The 25th percentile falls within the ones because the two zeros are 10% of the data 
and the two zeros together with the four ones are 30% of the data. The 25th per percentile is 1. Notice that the 25th percentile is Q1. 70% of the data include all of the zeros, the ones, and the twos, 14 values. By definition, 70% of the data fall below the 70th percentile. The 70th per percentile is between the last two, the 14th value and the first three, 15th value. So the 70th percentile is 2.5. A measure that is often used to find the range of the middle 50th percent of data is called the interquartile range, which is represented as IQR. The interquartile range is defined as the difference between the third and the first quartiles. That's Q3, my pen is acting up, Q3 minus Q1.